What is good, Battlefielders? Kuzu Ranger coming at you from Japan here with another Gunmaster game. This time we get to see me battle for first place with my homeboy Red Ham SLA, who happens to be one of the funniest motherfuckers I know. Also, want to give thanks to Werbalism for editing this gameplay, and a shout out to Trevor Henson7 for his edit on my Lav 49 streak. From here on out, I want to talk about the direction of the Battlefield franchise. Even after the release of Vehicle Heavy Armored Kill, it's quite clear infantry only combat has made a big impact on Battlefield 3, and I predict will continue to play a major role in the future. Go take a look at the most popular map rotations Metro, Sane, Bazaar, Davaman. People love these smaller maps because, let's face it, they want infantry combat over pure vehicle battles. That may be a bitter pill to swallow, but it's the truth. Why do you think Close Quarters was released before Armored Kill? The game has already gone from World War II to the Vietnam War to the present to the future and to a squad of foul-mouthed AWOL soldiers looking for gold. That should tell you that DICE is experimenting and trying to appeal to a wider audience. So now infantry combat is gaining even more prominence. Many of you misinterpret this to mean Battlefield is simply copying Call of Duty, but that's a grossly oversimplified statement. Anyone who's played both series know the core game mechanics, player speed, perks, streaks, weapons, and squad play, just to name a few, are entirely different. More than that, player mentalities are what really set the games apart. One is individual minded, the other is team minded. Yet every blockbuster game nowadays must appeal to a global market in order to succeed. So when companies started realizing people wanted fast paced, in your face multi kills, Coincidentally, similar to traits Call of Duty established years ago, they adapted accordingly. The fact that Battlefield now caters specifically towards both vehicle and infantry combat is an example of this shift, but it does not equate to DICE just imitating Call of Duty. Guess what, Poppy? A lot of people could care less about cruising vehicles the whole game and would rather kill face to face, mano a mano. Not everyone enjoys getting base raped by jets, attack helicopters, or tanks. So changes were made based on popular demands. That's life. Well, as someone who spent countless hours playing FPS games, I try to find the good points in each one rather than nitpicking every flaw. A lot of us don't need to choose sides or resort to trash talking. We play whatever we like and can give a fuck about the hype. I love playing Call of Duty games. I'm proud to admit that. But there also came a point when Call of Duty was not filling my needs. My biggest reason is their lack of dedicated servers, as well as a lack of consistent teamwork. Even if I'm devoted to Battlefield now, I will always give credit to Call of Duty instead of shitting on a series that helped inspire and bolster the FPS genre. So what if there are very cheap things about the game? I can quickly point out many in Battlefield as well. You want to know the secret to why Battlefield is changing? It's not because DICE is making a Call of Duty clone, I'll tell you that. It's because the gaming community in general is pushing for more carnage, more things to exploit, more ways to kill with the least skill and effort. The level of sportsmanship is on the decline. A higher proportion of irresponsible young kids means the level of patience, cooperation, and common sense will continue to decrease in not only Battlefield but all games. Instead of reviving, repairing, and giving ammo, too many people are watching out for themselves only. Instead of overcoming a challenge by working together, whiners cry until things get nerfed into oblivion. These are the main consumers who shape the next set of patches in future games. You think infantry only combat is taken away from the battlefield experience? No. It's things like the pre-patch frag rounds, pre-patch invincible choppers, and the AC-130 gunship which are the epitome of cheapness. I'm just sick of hearing people complain that urban maps and close quarters supporters are Call of Duty noobs. I don't even like playing up close because I'm a marksman. The noobs are the ones looking for the cheapest and laziest kill in whatever map or mode they play on. But whatever, play however you want to play. I happen to love getting big streaks and a big KD to stroke my fragile ego a la Co Call of Duty. I also happen to love playing in organized squads with a cooperative, hard-working squad a la Battlefield. Being able to do both makes me happy, so I'm not going to complain. Whether you're a Battlefield lover, Call of Duty lover, or merely a casual gamer, we all just want to have fun. Just understand that game developers are shaping games based on what we, the consumers, are demanding. So stop demanding more cheapness and play with some honor. Instead of playing like a female cat, try to play like a man. Call of Duty is not to blame for Battlefield's direction. 
It is the gradual deterioration of today's youth. Like, sub, favorite, share, comment, and tell me what you think. This has been Cruiser Ranger. Peace.